it's yet another beautiful Saturday morning here in Ontario. The temperature's up above freezing, and as one of my friends would say, we're having a bit of a mild. Well, old Betsy, you saw the last video I produced. We couldn't start it because the block heater or the engine coolant heater, it had failed. So lo and behold, we have another one. This one, however, was shipped here from Alberta. I always buy locally. I always support buying locally. But I couldn't find the block heater, or the engine coolant heater, I should say, locally that I wanted. You see, this will be the, I don't know, fifth or sixth one of these I've put on this tractor over the years. And they're around $160, $170 to buy at the dealer. And they don't have a low wattage one. So I contacted the manufacturer and I said, this is what's happening. What am I doing wrong? And he said, just go to this chart. I went to the chart and instead of a 1200 or 1500 watt unit, I needed a 750 watt unit, a much smaller unit. So I couldn't get one locally. I actually got this substantially cheaper online from a company, Alberta. So today, we're going to install this coolant heater on Betsy the tractor. Let's open it up and have a look at it. And it is some slippery in this mild, <laughs> because all the snow that's back down is turned into ice. I can slide anywhere. <laughs> I can't tell you, uh, with the work week I've had, how beautiful it is to be outside. To hear those blue jays, even though it's windy, it's cold, it's been raining this morning, it's been snowing this morning, and the temperature's supposed to drop, it is just so nice to be outside. And here we go! One 750 watt coolant heater. It's really simple to put on. It even tells you, up, coolant in, coolant out. Before we put this coolant heater on the engine, I want to talk to you a little bit about how we treat Betsy in the wintertime. We operate Betsy there with 15W40 viscosity engine oil year round. I put so few hours on this tractor, it really wouldn't make a lot of economic sense to change the engine oil in the wintertime to 530, 1030, or 030. So we use 15W40 year round. When it's minus 15, minus 20, minus 30, I love those Blue Jays. There's a flock flying past right now. <laughs> that 15W40 is pretty thick, pretty viscous. So I have a magnetic attached boop, oil pan heater. It's only 200 watts, but when I plug the coolant heater in, I also plug the oil pan heater in, and you would not believe the difference it makes and how easy the engine turns over to start, but once it starts, it's so much easier for that oil pump to push thin oil than that, oh, thick 15W40 through the oil filter, through the oil galleries to separate the moving parts. It starts faster, warms up faster, and actually it's a lot easier on a cold diesel engine when it has good lubrication right off the get-go. There, let's go put this on the engine. This is where the engine coolant heater is mounted on this tractor. It's a pretty simple setup. The lower hose goes to the inlet of the heater. It tells you in the instructions, always make sure that the inlet to the heater is below the lowest point on the block that you can access. And this is the outlet of the heater. It's pretty simple. A couple of pieces of 5 8 heater hose. So we'll undo two hose clamps, the band clamp holding the filter in place, and uh, we'll replace it. in place, I've tightened all the clamps, we purged the air out of it, all that's left now is to run it and check for leaks. I'm going to leave it running for a little while, let it warm up and we'll check it for leaks. Meanwhile, let's go in the shop and let's take a look at the unit that I took off and see where it failed. This isn't the block heater I took off the tractor. This is one that I've had sitting on the workbench and I threw a couple of other ones out and I thought, I might be able to fix it. I pulled it apart just to see why it had failed and the thermostat that opens at about 156 and I believe closes at 190 degrees Fahrenheit as you can see it's overheated, melted, burnt the connections. 
This is the one I just took off the tractor. Let's take it apart and see if it's had the same failure. Let's do a failure diagnosis. Lo and behold, exactly the same failure. Oh well, and I'm confident it's because this unit, like all the other units I've purchased that have failed, have been 1500 watts, which is just too many BTUs for this poor little heater to withstand with a very limited coolant flow coming in and out. Well, let's see how long the one that we put on today lasts. Folks, you know what, I've had a lot of fun today. It's been so good to be outside, to hear the Blue Jays, to work with my hands, and to refresh my mind. I can say I am blessed. I hope you've enjoyed this video, folks, and we look forward to seeing you again on Out of the House with Me.